welcome to the View Hotel in Eastbourne. So now let's check in and check it out. We all like to get away now and again, and what better way than to spend a few nights at a hotel? We're here this week as we check into three hotels so we can check them out for you. I do like the yellow colors. Um, I think that there are seven floors in total from one to seven. Two, six, We're here. Four, five, six to one. So this is six. So six, twelve, six, eleven. I don't think it's this way because it's six or nine. So I believe it's this way. Or do we just tap? Ooh, it smells nice and new. I think I still smell the woodwork. Ooh, look at this. There is a full length mirror. Look at the bed. Nice comfy bed. I think that there are Two sockets on this side, two sockets on that side. There are lamps. Let's see if they work. I think this is the sea view because you do see the pier in the distance. Oh wow, look, there's even a balcony as well for us to step out in. So maybe we should do that right now. So we are at the edge of this side. I think that there are other people with balcony views on this side. So fingers crossed we don't see any of our neighbors. Wow, look at this. What is that? The Eastbourne Pier or something? Can we go onto it? Yeah. Wow, look. It's quite tall up. So what do you think? Oh, it's quite nice. No, it is quite nice. And you could even have your little downtown downtime out here. You could see everything. You could see things in the distance as well, including the church over here. You can even see the Devonshire Park tennis courts behind me, right there, right there. So we have the kettle, we have Two cups. I think Marcus will like this. And it says you're welcome on the inside. Do you think we have enough milk, Marcus? <laughs> There's never enough milk. <laughs> there never is, is there? Twinings. Oh, three. Okay. <gasps> A fridge. Okay. So just in case you want to get something, is it cold? Yes, it is. It's chilly. My hair dryer, hopefully. Because you know me, I like a hair dryer. This is one of those trust me ones. Oh, not bad. And we have a seating area for Marcus to do his editing from here. And this is the light on the ceiling. Samsung Smart TV. There's air conditioning and heating. I think the maximum temperature is 26. 
It doesn't say anything about the minimum. There is a, a indulge in relaxing beverage and casual dining experience at the Vista Bar Cafe, which is located downstairs on the ground floor of the View Hotel. And it's operating from 10 a.m. until midnight, but kindly note that these times may vary seasonally. Now let's see what amenities await us in here. Yes, the light is on the side. So we have the sliding door. And we have two <laughs> vials of potions. This is body and hair gel, and this is also body and hair gel. So they are exactly the same thing. Uh, all right, fine. That's cool. Um, looks like we have an overhead shower, which is something that I prefer. This one kind of like you could use to reach all the hard places, I guess. Um, I'm assuming one is to operate the shower and then one is to regulate the temperature. Well, I think that they like the brand Damana. I don't know whether it's locally here or whether it's their supplier, but um, there's the lotion, which is good for me because I have really dry skin and they have this gentle soap with olive oil. So that's good to have these amenities and nice fluffy white towels. Uh, the sink works as well and I do like the look of the sink. I think it's very chic and it's very minimalistic and it is a rather nice design with this nice um, granite top I'm assuming. And last but not least the toilet um, let's hit the one with the little water. So yeah, this works as well. Oh, I spotted this before and I think it's good to have these hooks which aren't that distracting but you do know that it's there so that you can hang up your towel after each shower usage. Look at the light over there! It's quite bright, is it? Now what's in here? I thought there was something in here. Yep, there is. There is an ironing board with an iron down there. And plenty of hooks for us to use. They also have a safe for you to keep your expensive belongings nice and safe. I do love the color palettes of teal green as well as the wooden panels on the walls so stay tuned after the break where i let you know what i think of the hotel breakfast as well as summing up this hotel experience in general so stay tuned and we'll see you after this short break you've got to square the circle Please subscribe to It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. I don't normally get up at 5.30 in the morning. I'm really glad I did because look at that. The sun's coming up and you can hear the waves in the background and you can feel the really cold breeze hitting you and I feel freezing out here. But I think that there's something to be said about being at the seaside and I think it just wakes you up so it's no it's it's a good feeling and getting hit by all this lovely wind and it's freezing but how often do i come to the seaside and how often do i come to eastbourne not too often so let's enjoy the the sun behind the clouds
to what do I think of the room? I think the room is amazing. I think it is one of the best rooms that we've seen it, and we've seen it quite a few. I think the fact of us being so close to the sea right here is one of the best things about this hotel. The window was double glazed and the door was also double glazed obviously. So it was quite soft. The bed was really soft and comfortable. I think that the pillows were great as well. It was, um, I had two pillows. One was softer than the other one. I think it was also good that we were able to adjust the heating levels in the thermostat because at one point it was a little bit warmer than other times, especially when you came out of the shower. Marcus really enjoyed his cups of tea, so he had about two of them. I think that the TV had also ample channels to go through and I was also watching the old movie Stormbreaker with Alex Pettifer. I think this was like back in 2012 or something, like ages ago. We also discovered that there was ample space underneath the bed to store your suitcases because there was like three different sections so that was pretty impressive marcus was also impressed with the swivel chair because it did swirl back um like about like a circular motion so that was quite useful to have and very comfortable to sit at i also enjoyed having a mini fridge in the room because I was able to store my 1.5 liter bottle of water in there to keep it nice and cool. Another nifty thing that we discovered while we had our showers and stuff, there is a light that illuminates inside the mirror to give you extra lighting whenever you need to have more lighting and who doesn't need more lighting, right? I was also impressed with how many plug sockets they had. They had about eight plug sockets and I think they had about six USB charging points. So I think that this hotel really wants you to stay charged because they have the thing to put on the door that says charging. So that is when you do not want to be disturbed. So I thought that that was pretty interesting to notice about this hotel. Uh, looks like the bells are ringing. They had a fabulous buffet style with cooked elements as well as some cold meats and cheeses and fruit. They also had cereal and yogurts and they had plenty of tea and coffee that you can make. We had a fabulous view from the View Hotel and if you want to view any of our future episodes and current episode, please subscribe to our YouTube channel is Paul and Marcus where you can get all of our latest content and any of the items that you have missed. For those of you that have liked today's episode, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do so as well. And for those of you that haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's free of charge and it will help us to reach our goals on YouTube. 
and Marcus will also want me to add. For those of you that are feeling extra generous, you can also buy us a coffee and then that will also go towards helping us on our journey on YouTube. And until next time, we'll see you later.